Hi, I'm Jeremy Moore, race engineer for Craig Lands at Team Vodafone, and welcome to the Norton 360 Engineer for Speed technical section. Uh, today we're looking at uh, springs and dampers. Here at Team Vodafone we run Saks shock absorbers. Uh, we're the um, distributor for Saks in Australia. It's a uh, German branded, um, German manufactured shock absorber, four way adjustable. Uh, these things are one of the most important things on the cars. Uh, we often change these um, more often, springs and shocks more often than anything else. Um, basically, go to different tracks. Some tracks, especially in Australia, are very bumpy, so you need to uh, uh, allow for different um, spring rates and shock absorber rates to make sure the tyre touches the ground as, as much as possible. Um, Shock absorbers, now how they work, this is a dual tube shock absorber, so there's a tube, two tubes, one on the outside, one on the inside, and a piston inside. So when the piston goes down, it pushes fluid through the outside between the two tubes and into this adjuster block. Now there's a low speed and a high speed adjuster on this shock absorber, so uh, with these dampers you can adjust pretty um, infinitely the forces at, of low speed, high speed, um, bump and rebound, which means bumps when the piston's going inside and rebounds when the piston's coming out. So there's a four way adjustable and about um, 16 and, and 12 positions on each. So you can really lose yourself pretty quickly if you just start twirling knobs. So um, we generally try to have a, a base mark, a, a base setting where you uh, need to run them for whatever spring rate, whatever track you're running at. Um, spring rates, um, we, we try to run uh, for each track we try to run a, a certain spring rate and each year we'd go back there and um, start there again um, but with, we we're finding with the Holden and the Ford they might need different spring rates uh, anywhere from the range of um, uh, say 60 newton front springs to 200 newtons per millimetre front springs and on the rear we run somewhere between uh, 45 newtons per millimetre all the way up to uh, 150 so is a big range of what spring rates we run. So um, at some tracks you need a lot more stiffness, say Bathurst, a lot of higher loaded corners, a lot of altitude change and cars bottoming out. Whereas you go to places which is really uh, like a street circuit, you can run quite soft because you've got to be able to ride the curves pretty well and uh, also be able to brake on all uneven surfaces. So uh, springs and shocks are one of the most adjusted things on the cars, in, in our team anyway. What we're looking at here is a damper dyno. We run row rig damper dynos and this is also, this is one of our front shock absorbers and strings built up. We um, generally have four sets of these per car and um, in sessions we swap them to try different spring rates, different damping rates. Uh, but if you see us changing in quality, 20 minute quality, you know we're uh, not looking too good. But we haven't done that lately so we must be going all right. Um, on this machine here, it uh, shows us the forces versus velocity of the shock itself, the damper itself. So we can, when we build dampers, we check firstly that they're where they're supposed to be, but also we can map what each adjuster does and also see how well the shock's working, if it's cavitating or um, if it's losing oil or anything like that. So this is one of the most important machines in, uh, in our workshop and um, without it, we'll be a bit lost.